All right, we got the shift rod forward. Uh, we won't have to put the car down anymore. But before I release the flange on this, I want to slide the coupling back from the torque tube to the input shaft of the transmission. If we loosen the bell housing first, it's going to change the alignment just enough where that coupling won't want to slide. So we need to get that slid back onto the transmission off the torque tube before we do any more. So let's just get this out of the way. There's two eight millimeter headed cheese head screws, my favorite cheese head bolts. And if I can fumble around in here. You have to rotate the engine into position so you can get to these. And they're opposite. This one is facing us, so the other one through this hole is facing the other way. We have to rotate the engine to get this uh, lined up with the hole. So our Porsche expert is going to look up in the hole and tell me when the head of that bolt is right here. Tell me when you see the head of the bolt. More? What? Talk to me. You can tell us. Is it there now? The whole thing? You went too far. I always go too far. A little more. There you go. Okay, that's where the bolt came out. I know it's kind of difficult to see. Uh, you can do this yourself. If you turn the engine a little bit, come back and look, go back and forth. Uh, luckily, I had somebody back here that could tell me when it was there. As you can see how well that worked out. But anyways, we're just gonna slide the collar back. Hopefully it moves okay. Uh, yeah, perfectly. And it slides right back onto the transmission. And now it's disconnected from the torque tube. And uh, we can just easily remove the transmission now. Normally, on a regular day, everything going well, this takes about 45 minutes to remove. Uh, very simple. And now we'll take the bell housing bolts off. There's the upper right hand bolt we're gonna take off. It's a 10 millimeter headed Allen. It's threaded directly into the uh, torque tube flange. And this is the upper left hand. There's only four. Uh, this is the upper left hand, and then we'll do the bottom two. Transmission cooler bracket is held on uh, here through the bell housing. So we're going to remove the clamp here, and then we can take the bolt off. This is a 12 millimeter bolt, as long as the same as the top two. So we'll have a 19 millimeter nut on this side, uh, and all that will come off along with the bracket. But we have to separate this half, which is a five millimeter socket head screw cheese head well technically they're not cheese head socket head but I like cheese so well and the two insulators Surprising these bolts come off so easily. Very happy about that. <laughs> That's a bit too soon. That's just tight coming through the aluminum here. I just one more thing I wanted to show you. There is one more bolt in this. It's not just here. There's a bolt uh, that goes through the center. It's also an Allen head or socket head bolt. And that goes up uh, through a, a part of the transmission here. The reason our large bolt wouldn't come out is because we had a little pressure on the transmission uh, because all the bolts are out except for one. It's hanging on the top mount, which is normal. I, I want to take the nuts off of that and that can stay there until we get the transmission jack on, but you'll see that in just a minute. This is just the lower left. Um, it's just a 10 millimeter nut, uh, 10 millimeter bolt with a 17 millimeter nut and head. Um, 
we can take this out eventually. Okay, we supported the transmission to get the last bolt out. Um, it should come out fairly easily. There it is. Uh, it's sitting on the top mount, which uh, isn't a problem. Uh, I'm going to take and move that plastic tube. I probably should have done that before I pulled that bolt out. But there's a plastic tube <laughs> right here. It's not going to come out now. Okay. We just gently move that tube forward. That's the tube that the, that the uh, selector shaft goes through. Now I'm going to take the nuts off the top mount. thing up there. But I know they're there. I'll show you this mount when we get the transmission out and how it works. I need my assistant to hold the flashlight. Here he comes. Have a nice nap? No. Okay, fuel filter can be just pushed out of the way for this one. All right. I have to push these bolts through the upper mount. I need a punch. Mm -hmm. Thank you. All right, these bolts go through the mount into the transmission. The transmission holds the bolt pretty, pretty nicely. Okay, the bolts are out of the top mount, and uh, we're going to lower this down now, and just guide the, watch that axle over there, we're okay over there? Well, there it is. Uh, here's the plastic tube that we had to push back out of the way. That's where the shifter shaft or the selector shaft would come through, where the coupling connects to on the uh, output shaft of the torque tube to the input shaft of the transmission. Here's the upper mount that I was talking about. These bolts go right through and they're held in by the casting. If you look, you can see the hex. These bolts are held in place and they come all the way through and through that mount right here. So the bolts go through and the nuts and washers are over here. There are two different bolts, that's not correct. Uh, we'll get the correct hardware. This one is correct, not this one. Probably come out of a washing machine or something. Who knows? Uh, that's it. Backup light switch wires just got disconnected. Um, greasy mess. You can put bags around these if you don't want to get greasy. Same with the, uh, the joints, but we don't care about grease at the moment. But that's about it. That's the transmission. Next, we'll have to remove the torque tube. Exhaust from the front. Uh, the braces, brackets, exhaust brackets. Uh, then the torque tube released from the front and we'll lower the uh, the little subframe here which is the housing for the the uh, torsion bars torsion bars spring plates all this will come down so we can get the torque tube out past the fuel tank might we're going to take the fuel tank out anyways it might be best to take it out first we'll figure that out next time okay but that's it for now transmission is out took longer than expected but it's out and thank you so much for your help. You were great. Say thank you.